My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I was not able. Hi, welcome to my show called Inspired Blessings with Dream Marie Prince. And this is part two, uh, and this is actually going to be a very entertaining one. And thank you, uh, Jen uh, uh, Godson Chandler and Jim E. Chandler, um, mm -hmm. part two of their show. And we're going to be talking now about your Wholesome franchise, The Farmer and the Bell. That's oh. right. Yay. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, uh, why are you wearing that, by the way? Oh, it's cold. <laughs> oh, it is cold outside, yes. Yeah, because but, uh, it's snuggling. Because it's Tuesday. Okay. That's why. So, tell That's me really what it is. <laughs> okay. It's, a, it's actually one of our costume pieces for the movie, The Farmer and the Bell. And... The story is about this paranoid supermodel who finds real love by searching for her mojo on a pig farm over the holidays. And what better way to do it than in a pink onesie? Very cute. <laughs> See, it looks very warm. A little Charlotte's Web, a little Elf Life, a little Sweet Home so, Alabama, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so in a way, I understand that this is a, a true story of kind of a, how you guys met, but it's mm -hmm. going to be done in a fun way. That's correct. correct. Our main goal is to make people laugh. We also want to... You know, Belly laughter. <laughs> right. Well, we want to make people laugh. And you've been making me laugh this whole time. It's kind of hard not to laugh when you're sitting next to somebody who's wearing something like this. So yeah, it's I'm really in not stealth that, mode, yo. It's really I'm not that difficult. So is there a battery, like, do you, you know, turn off on button? No, there's not a turn off on her. Are you sure? I, I've looked for it. it. I, I can't find Here. it. Maybe but, it's under um, here. No? <laughs> 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 okay, no, you're, fine. you're fine. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah it's based on, loosely based on our, our yeah. love story and how this man helped me find real love. And we throw it up in the air in a funny way of like a paranoid supermodel and the farmer in the dell and how they meet in a fish out of water type situation with pen pal letters and love and crazy fun and games, animals, pigs, cows. Well, Santa hats. And a horse in a onesie that matches this one. So Correct, yes. it's not just, uh, there's so many different things that are happening, especially her being from New York, doing a photo shoot with a, with a horse in a onesie. Uh, and then you know, everything takes off from there. So we start the movie with just, uh, you know, we want to uh, take you on a ride and you immediately know that that's well, where you're Well, you know what, headed. these days people need uh, to see movies that make them laugh. You know, because yeah. this world sometimes is just too serious because with all the things that are going mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. You know? yeah. So, so this will be, and this will, it seems like it'll be fun for families yeah. to be able to laugh together. Yeah, yeah, families and kids, and we also have lots of fun traditions that are going to be built throughout the story. Mm -hmm. I think one thing that I love about um, the moment when the story opens where Belle Winters She's in front of the Flatiron Building in New York City at the highlight of her career. You know what? If you don't mind, can we show them the trailer on that? Great idea. All right, right. Let's take a look. Okay, let's, so, let's watch. so we're going to watch now. I am the famous Belle Winters. I've had a successful career for years. Hey, my latest role as a famous and model. <laughs> Come on, embrace the moment. Give it a little more um. Let's go! Hold that. That I know. It's beautiful. Hold it. Stay with it. Oh, that's brilliant! Cut! Not a good day. But still, it seems like something wonderful is about to begin. That's me and my farmer. The wedding I've always dreamed of. But it was a long road 
discover this real love. This all began 20 years ago at a farm in Georgia where I first met my farmer as kids. Not in these green pastures, but here. The sloppy, gushy mud hole, a pig pen. We'll get to that later. Flash forward, I am reluctantly drawn back to my childhood farm town looking for my mojo, where I will do battle with chickens, a kissing cow, a cranky rooster, killer bass, these cute little guys, my farmer. He came all the way to New York to find me. The case of mistaken identity. And I find real love. Seems like something wonderful is about to begin. The world can tell, can tell. Wonder a spell. A flower in the bell. Wow, that was a fun, funny trailer. It's great, right? It was. It was. <laughs> I tell you, the cow having the same outfit on? <laughs> the it, horse, the horse. I mean, the horse, I was say. Well, you know, I'm thinking the bell. But anyway, right. yeah. But ding, ding, you're right. You know what's even funnier? When this guy wears the outfit, yeah. he does. You got, oh, I guess he's going to put on the one that the horse No, I'm not going to wear it. You're no. going to wear the horse no, one. I don't think he can finish not. the one you were wearing, Jen. <laughs> I think he would probably like that a lot. Mm. So now tell no. me, how <laughs> does, how, you know, did this story mm -hmm. come about? Yeah, great, great, great question. Um, well, when I would come visit Jim and his family, they live on a farm in Georgia. It has pigs, it has cows, it has chickens, and I've never been on a farm before. And so his dad said, Jen, come help me uh, feed the pigs. So I was like, all right, I went down and we pulled out this huge bucket full of slop, and I looked in and I dry heaved and almost added to it as we fed <laughs> the pigs. And then I'm walking through the fields, and there's like cow pies everywhere, and I'm like, right. now, well, okay, where did you grow up that you're, you know, all of a sudden in a strange place? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I actually grew up surrounded by cornfields in Pennsylvania. Okay. But I, since then, I've been city-eyed, so I lived most of my journey in New York City or in Los Angeles. Gotcha. Really living the entertainment life as an actor. Mm -hmm. yeah, my family has lived on uh, the farm that they have since 1917, so we're in the 101st year. So it's just kind of fitting. I, I grew up visiting there as a child, and then I moved down there for a little while to help out down there. And my brother actually, uh, it's a working farm with uh, uh, 35 or so heads of cattle and he has chickens and there's goats and there's pigs and he raises it all. And uh, so mm -hmm. she got to see what it was like to be a part of that and it was quite funny in real life to watch it and it'll be just as funny <laughs> when we see it on screen too. Hey Jen, are you, were you more of a prima donna prior to that? You know, I would say no. Yes, the answer would be yes. No! No, I was so not. I was totally not. Well, can you do me a favor? There's a picture behind you. Yeah. Oh, 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 yes. Be careful. Yep. Great, great, great. Here we go. Uh, now, let's see. Let me ask you a question again. Were you a prima donna? <laughs> Enter fan. <laughs> um, do, you, you know, do you dress like that often? All the time, actually, except on Sundays. No, this is my angel esque moment where I try to be inspired with the wind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, I'm, I'm actually a spokesmodel in China for one of the celebrity makeup artists. Uh, his name is Zhen Zhang. Well, how old were you at the time? Uh, this was two years ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, so this entire book that he made is all of all these photos that he did. And wow. he's going to play himself in the movie. Yes. So he's, there's... Yeah. He's actually in the movie and he's a makeup <laughs> artist and we're going to bring him in to... Uh, he's going to do some makeup on the film, uh, and he has a great, great uh, comedic oh, so scenes good. that are going to be really, really funny. He doesn't speak a lick of English, so it's going to be, but he understands what we're doing, and it, it, his scenes are going to be extremely funny. It, it, you will laugh out loud yeah, with the stuff right, that he does, right. for sure. So it's like the story of the farmer and the bell is, um, may I give you this? Yeah. Um, the story of the farmer and the bell is about a high fashion supermodel from New York City. She's searching for her mojo. Mm -hmm. And so she goes to her childhood friend's lifestyle and Santa Land to look mm -hmm. for the mojo. And in doing so, she learns how... Can you explain how... what a mojo is? Because I don't know some people would know what a mojo is. <laughs> you know what a mojo is? What is a mojo? A mojo is your, your light, your inspiration, right. your hope, your sparkle. Mm -hmm. uh, and the way that we present mojo is through a bracelet. We have a bracelet similar to this, and there'll be four different charms on it. Each charm, M-O-J-O, -O, will have an acronym and an inscription 
-hmm. to help girls find the secret to real love. And you know what those inscriptions are? What? They actually are little verses that lead you to the truth that shows you what real love is, such as, you are made beautiful and wonderful in the image of God. You've been given a hope and a purpose. Mm -hmm. You've been made strong and courageous. Mm -hmm. Meditate on things that are good, that are lovely, that are pure. So when girls are trying to figure out who they really are, mm -hmm. they can look to their own mojo, their own miracles of Jesus overflowing, to try to feel that wisdom inside there and just renew their mind. Yeah, because I, you know, you hear of um, people, the females, in which they have plastic surgery because mm -hmm. they want to keep on looking more beautiful, and, or mm -hmm. they think, mm -hmm. you know, and then eventually sometimes they look more plasticky rather than beautiful. Right. You know, where they should yeah. see that they've got beauty inside. Yeah. You know? And then, you know, let's chat a little bit about that because what is beauty? So many people, and I know not so many people, but I should say myself, I would think beauty is what I would see on the magazines, what I would see in big television shows, the way that people's hair is, their makeup, their outfits, and so much are the body proportions, so much of the mind's eye is like if that's what beauty is and you're striving to be something that you are not personally created to be, you're living something that is false. By the way, all of those magazines, they're all airbrushed. Right. They're photoshopped. That picture that we showed, they enlarged my eyes and they shrunk my waist um, to be able to make images like that. And so that's one thing that I really desire is that girls, when they watch The Farmer and the Bell, for them to realize that their beauty is not based on their physical appearance, but it's based on how you love people, how you treat mm -hmm. people. Like, if you need help with something, I'm serving you and I'm helping you, that is so lovely. If I could be an encouragement to someone, if you could find ways to uh, spend quality time with people, to what are the other love languages? Quality time, honoring, respect, words of affirmation, physical touch. Um, these things that help show people what love really is. Right. You know, sometimes um, I've met some you know, pretty beautiful people. Mm -hmm. And then because sometimes all of a sudden they start opening their mouth and doing stuff and you're like, ooh, they're not so pretty after all. You know, on, on the outside they may look pretty, yeah. but on the inside. So it really it has to start with being on the inside because what you're on the inside can portray to come yeah, out on so the outside. Yeah, it starts with showcasing the film. Is, uh, we want to do it in a comical way, sure. have fun with it, mm -hmm. uh, but also we want the movie to have some heart so that it can... Um, you, you know, really have some impact. You know, our target is, is for y uh, young women and uh, uh, and even young girls because uh, we're going to have a, a young seven-year-old in it that uh, is going to be learning, you know, from the big people that are around her. She actually is going to be teaching our, our stars mm -hmm. a, a few things as well. But we want to, to kind of be able to engage that audience so that we can show them that there's so much more than, than, than fame. There's so much more than social media followers. There's so much more... Um, uh, to your value and your worth and basically the, the, the farmer is going to teach that uh, to Belle that being of service to others is, is, is the, the greatest way that you can show them love and, um, and if, we, if, if the young girls and women who might be struggling with that can understand that their, their worth has so much, they have such a greater purpose than what somebody might dangle in front of them or so even that they don't ever find themselves in situations where they um, might be uncomfortable and with all the stuff that's been happening recently coming out of Hollywood, mm -hmm. um, I think that a lot of these uh, women may have felt like they, well, this, mm -hmm. well, this is how the system goes and, right, the dishes and, it, and it's, it's so unfortunate that there were so many predators out there that, that took advantage of them in right. this situation. Uh, but also uh, having some type of weaponry to stand against that and mm -hmm. to understand that uh, uh, my career is not worth uh, my value being diminished or it's not worth uh, having somebody uh, take advantage of me um, and uh, we want that to change like that has to change mm -hmm. the, the men need to be better mm -hmm. and uh, we, we we need to be better to our women and that's what the farmer is he she comes from the world where uh, she's used to being uh, treated a certain way by perhaps her fiance or mm -hmm. uh, what is idolized in the world today. Mm -hmm. um, and then she comes to a farm and meets me with my big bushy beard who has a young daughter that I'm trying to love on and raise, you know, raise 
uh, properly. So we see a fish out of water, and that's what uh, that's what adds to the hilarity of it. Right. Uh, but ultimately, it's for her to see that there are men out there who want to treat her with love, honor, and respect. In the movie, it, um, how did you end up, without giving away, but uh, what did you end up doing? Uh, you know, in order to win a heart. It started when we were kids. Like the beginning of the movie is uh, our characters as young people uh, before uh, uh, our, you know our lives take form, and we're at Santa Land Camp, uh, which is located. Uh, the, we're shooting on my family farm, so that works out great. Um, and then uh, and we're just about to play Joseph and Mary in the nativity scene. Yeah, go ahead. But then I um, at Santa Land Camp. My character has a sleepwalking issue, and mm -hmm. she sleepwalks into a pig pen full of pigs. <laughs> and, and her bully, no. <laughs> no. and the bully wakes her up, saying, "You want to be a model? Say stinky cheese, snap!" And a Polaroid comes out, and Belle starts crying and says, "I can't be here. I'm too embarrassed. I'm humiliated with the who I am." And so she gets in her car with her mom and her dad to drive off, and she sees a magazine, and that magazine says on it is to be loved you must be beautiful and she looks at that cover and she looks up and she goes mom I know what I'm gonna be when I grow up I'm gonna be beautiful and everyone's gonna love me mm. pause and that's what the entire heart of our story is trying to flip on its head that you are not loved based on your beauty you're loved by how you love others right. how you treat others right. and mm -hmm. through the farmer yeah. and the belt journey that's how she learns this Right. Now, I understand, as you can tell, the fact that I'm a greeting card person. <laughs> but you I don't say. I understand that greeting cards also has uh, something to do in your Yeah, family. that's what I was alluding to a second ago, um, is about, uh, the, as young kids, uh, uh, Josh takes time to write to her because she lives, she doesn't live nearby. So mm -hmm. he creates greeting cards, makes them for her, and they keep in touch. And then as time goes, uh, you know, Belle goes on her mm -hmm. journey to become who she, who she becomes and uh, Josh just continues on his life and we see a little bit more of, uh, uh, of who Josh is in the film and you know he, he ends up having uh, being married and having a daughter but he ends up losing his wife so he's kind of he's broken too right. and and uh, but he still always had that 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 servant's heart so he's able to help Bell teach that and then through some other people around uh, Josh is able to learn that you know he's ready to open up his heart again so that uh, perhaps there can be something that gets kindled between the yeah. two of them. Well, we're gonna, we, you know, we don't want to give everything away. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I understand. Oh, I was just gonna say sure. those greeting cards. Those were inspired by how Jim actually courted my heart, and that was one of the inspirations of the real love that's in the farmer and the bell. That's yeah, we had a long distance relationship, yeah. and. Um, I was at the farm, you know, and I would write and just do a gre <laughs> well, little greeting you, cards and yeah, send them to her. when you're writing a greeting card, it's from the heart. Yeah. You know, so Absolutely. that's what I can speak. And that's why greeting cards are very important All for right. people to be receiving. Um, <laughs> now, I understand the fact that you use part of your wedding. Absolutely. Right? Wedding pictures. Yeah. So you have wedding pictures that you that you Yeah. Have. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, really quite a, a cool <laughs> thing is that uh, throughout this process of making the movie, um, we are actually became engaged and actually were married and we hired uh, all of our friends to, not <laughs> hired, we invited them to the wedding and they did it all for free, but we had a little behind the scenes camera set up so we were able to <laughs> capture portions of our wedding and we we're going to use that as part of a little Easter egg uh, aspect to, right. to the film so it's just kind of... People get to see the farmer and the bell get right. married, so it's. Well, you know, uh, I, I think it's a like true story. Can, can I say one yeah, more? Yeah, for sure. Yes, you can. <laughs> Talking about greeting cards, the end of the movie um, is going to be a Christmas wreath, and farmer and the bell they kiss, and that Christmas wreath inside that greeting card freeze frames, which is so excited that you're a greeting card creator, into their actual wedding kiss, mm -hmm. and then it cuts. To black and then it goes to credits and then you'll see all of our funny behind the scenes like my bridesmaid she does camera and filmmaking for Billy Graham Ministries mm -hmm. so in her bridesmaid gear she had her iPhone hidden and was like capturing uh, all of these behind the scenes footage so like in their trailer all the wedding stuff you see yeah now I understand that you have uh, worked with some um, people that maybe people are familiar with in the fact that what John Bon Jovi's uh, lead writer yeah, that's actually right. the person that helped pen the script. Mm -hmm. His name is Billy Falcon. He's a mm -hmm. singer and songwriter, and he's been on uh, John Bon Jovi's uh, writing partner since the early 90s. And who, um, who else as well? 
Oh my goodness, we, we've got such a beautiful team. Mm -hmm. um, one of our writers is James M. DeVince, and I'm not sure if many people are familiar with the movie guide, but that's like the Christian Oscars, the faith and family values, uh, honoring people who are trying to make an impact in media. And we have one of their prize winners as our writers. And then another one of our writers, we have three of them, Ruben Evans, he works as a creative executive for Bible Logos, which is mm -hmm. Faith Life. And so he created the structure, James created the decoration, and then Billy Falcon created such juicy characters that are epic and memorable. And then one of our consultants that is so dear to my heart is Erin Smalley from Focus on the Family. Mm. And she's a psychologist mm -hmm. and an author for relationships and helping heal women. And so she's going through the script. In fact, this week, that's what her job is, is identifying moments and dialogue to give pearls of wisdom to really, truly impact the, the soul of the viewer without being preachy. You're just experiencing entertainment mm -hmm. but walking away with uh, some medicine in your heart to help heal those inner wounds that we all have that we may not want to talk about. Right. <laughs> So with this, and because of the fact that you're having um, the artists from China, you're also looking to reach out to China as well. Oh, that's right. yes. Is yeah, that would be great if, uh, um, you know, we hope to have a broadcast television deal uh, to be able to do our release in the United States that way. Mm -hmm. um, and then Jen has, uh, have ha has had some success with other films in different countries, so we want to be able to reach as many people as we can with this message of, of hope and love and of servant and of uh, treating women with respect, you know, and having them understand that their worth is, is so much more than what it may appear to be and what the media tells us. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to we want to kind of do a paradigm shift there and then turn it on its head. And uh, China, Brother Jin being from uh, uh, China and coming to help us, hopefully we can get ourselves into the door. I know that it's difficult to get movies into China, but mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're, we're hopeful that we might be able to, do, to work something out with, um, with some distribution company there as well. Right. Well, now, because... Oh, sorry. Oh, it's just, just was a really quick thing. When I was shooting there as one of the models, during the work, while the photographer was there shooting, some of the girls would come up to me and they would ask, about the love that Jim and I had because they would see the sparkle in our eyes and what they were attracted to was really the love of God and I think that's what my main motivation for me gets excited is if this story because it's an entertaining Christmas comedy movie The Farmer and the Bell mm. these people are laughing but they're seeing on screen what healthy relationship looks like, mm. how a woman is to be treated by a man, how a woman is to be able to see themselves as beautiful by how they treat others versus how their hair or their figure is. Mm -hmm. And to really to, to help those girls that I talked with to show them an answer to find hope. Right. No, it's definitely a good message. Uh, with that, and especially around Christmas time as well. Yeah. And especially the fact that after Christmas is the new year, so let's yeah. start the new year. Come on, girlfriend! Right. <laughs> and get a greeting card <laughs> and write some pen <laughs> belt letters to those you love. Um, you're funny. I'm you're serious! Funny. We're going into business. <laughs> okay, we're we'll contracted right now for the farmer and the bell to write all of these pearls of wisdom <laughs> to your beautiful cards, and then everyone can then buy them and share them with their loved ones and we'll talk <laughs> <laughs> you never know with god uh, believe me yeah, for um, sure. did you know that three flames burning together in hebrew is raya ahava and dod raya is friendship forever ahava is commitment until death do your part and dod is passion that emotional flame that when, you've got when those <laughs> three burn together that's the makings of what marriage should be based in Right. Well, again, we'll talk. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was going to say is that um, since you got, since you both worked on other projects before, the both of you, yeah, this one happens to be more special because it's really your story, right, and your project. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you must be excited. About yeah, it's going to be a blast. The story that God gave me, because I was such a fish out of water at Jim's family's home with my heels and the cow pies and the pigs. This mm -hmm. birthed, and from there we put the script together, and Movie Guide has deemed it an A script that studios should get behind to produce. So mm -hmm. we're well, really lucky. Well, you know, we'll keep keep Donna Brown. Yeah, thank because you. Because it's, it's a because it's a good message. Mm -hmm. you know, it, because these days, I think um, 
the the girls that are going out, they really need to have a better role model. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's not based on what's on the outside, it's really based on the inside. Right. So, ah, so we've actually shot 15% of the movie already, so oh, there's really? got a good start on it. Yeah. Um, we're just uh, we're looking to, to, to get to the point where we can finish the film. And, so. And how do you get to the point of finishing the film? And the fact that you look for, is it sponsors? Or how, how does that yeah, happen? Yeah, what, what I'd love, I think what would be great is uh, once we get a broadcast deal, it would be amazing to find a home on Hallmark. Mm -hmm. So the Farmer and the Bell Christmas comedy movie comes out, and then the Farmer and the Bell, uh, their honeymoon story, and then the Farmer and the Bell, their first baby, and going on on forth. Mm -hmm. To be able to find that home on Hallmark or you can actually do a series, exactly. Yeah, we're create a series. But the way that the, we're, mm -hmm. we're always, you know, anybody that wants to donate to our production, they're more than yes. more than welcome. How would they? To. How would they? Uh, like you. They would go to your website at the Christmas. Yeah, christmascomedymovie.com uh, or christmascomedymovie at gmail.com or even our Facebook page. We are, we've got finance letters to help those who want to invest in ministry, in using movies to be able to impact lives. They can make an investment and then grow financially with the movie. Or those who may want to tithe or have a tax deduction, they could donate and they could sew into this fishes and loaves campaign that we're we're putting together with the farmer and the bell. Mm -hmm. What are you looking to have this project done? Uh, if we can finish the production this spring, that would be fantastic. Uh, we might end up having to do it in the fall, which is okay too, but however it works out, it's going to be right on the path that it's supposed to be on. Mm -hmm. um, so us working with uh, the Dove Foundation and or the Dove Foundation's co-founder, Dick Rolf, he's going to be kind of being a, a, a mentor to us and kind of shepherding us into some different relationships that, that that could uh, bear some fruit for the production. Um, sure. So anything that we can uh, raise to keep us afloat while we while we do all of that is always is always appreciated. So yeah. if you're interested in helping out, yeah. please help us. <laughs> you know, and like when they watch this interview and hearing your passion, yeah, you know, to tell and like story. one of the things we're raising money for is to be able to bring on certain consultants that are able to take a look at the script and know what is well versed in China. And like those people cost money, our editor, our visual effects, we've got a song, The Farmer and the Bell, that's written on our, that you could hear on our pitch trailer, and that's written by a Grammy winning artist, it's a part of the Priceless uh, campaign that, that won last year. Well, yeah. yeah, being the fact that um, you, you also do a, a, you know, a lot of uh, <laughs> different movies that's just so heartwarming to, uh, you know, so you kind of have a following as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, if you're interested, I do fundraisers, online fundraisers from my products. <laughs> <laughs> just a, a little plug in there. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Cool, yeah. cool. Farm in the Bell partners with Inspire Blessings. Yeah, there come you on. go. Right here. That's great. <laughs> I want to thank you so much. Thank you. Is there anything, for us. you know, really fast that you want to say? Um, you know, what better way to find real love than through the miracle of the nativity at Christmas? Yes. So they got to watch right. The Farmer in the Bell. Check us out. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, thank you so much for being, you know. Thank you for having us. And uh, you guys are funny. I appreciate <laughs> it. I, and I can't, I can't wait to see the movie because I think it's even going to be a lot more funny. Oh my yeah. gosh, the yeah. shenanigans. So that's, so that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. actually, in the movie, there's a beard cheating contest for the snow fair games. And he this play, yeah. lovely lad shaves his beard off. Oh, and that's where Belle goes, oh, you're so beautiful. <laughs> because she falls in love with his heart. Uh -huh. Not his wallet, like a lot of women are told. That right. They fall in love with his heart. Yeah, well, much, much, uh, many blessings for it. Thank you. If you have a red carpet, love to be there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You're in. Thank you. So I want to thank you so much for joining us today, and I hope you uh, uh, check out the website and um, be able to learn more about it and to be able to support it. So. Um, Again, if you're looking to uh, have a guest speaker come in to share a uh, testimony, I've got a great testimony to share with you. And if you could like my Inspired Blessings Facebook page to be able to get all the updates. And also, if you could like my uh, YouTube video, uh, YouTube uh, channel, you'll be able to get all the different interviews that I've, I've uploaded on there as well. So uh, keep Inspired Blessings within arm's reach to help give you comfort when others are at a loss for words. Thank you and God bless. Mission on Inspired Blessings book. TV albums, photograph prints, Jimmy Prince greeting cards, and speaking engagements, jimmyprince.com, as well as Facebook page, Inspire Blessings for updates, and CD Baby to listen to the songs. Thank you and God bless. To accept and receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, please say this prayer. 
I know that I am a sinner who needs forgiveness. Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins and purify me. I know that you died and rose again to pay for my sins. I need you to be my Lord and Savior for the rest of my life. Thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. With man, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. My life is in your hands. My life is in your hands. You took control when I was young, when I